What's up guys, I'm TovaLab7 and welcome to a brand new transfer news video and this time we will look at uh, the biggest club in the world, Real Madrid and what they are doing this summer again is just outrageous they just signed uh, James uh, or James Rodriguez for 60 million pounds from Monaco he's the top scorer of the World Cup with 6 goals but he didn't play that well for Monaco uh, last season and uh, he only played there for one season and uh, now that the World Cup uh, went well for him he goes for 60 million that's just a crazy amount of money but uh, it shows that how, how um, many fans Real Madrid have that uh, they sold uh, in the last 24 hours after his uh, transfer they sold uh, that ma so many uh, Rodriguez shirts that uh, it already covered like uh, uh, 5 million euros from his transfer which is just absolutely crazy and they also signed uh, Tony Kroos for 24 million pounds for Bayern Munich and you might wonder why is uh, that fee so low uh, it's because Tony Kroos only had one year uh, from his contract and many, many, some of you, my subscribers, compared that to La Lana's 25 million fee, and they asked me how can Liverpool spend spend 20 my million, 25 million for La Lana when Tony Kroos uh, went for only 24 million. You don't, uh, people like this don't understand how transfers work. La Lana had a five-year contract at Southampton, so we had to we had to pay that that off, and uh, Tony Kroos only had one year left out his contract and Tony Kors will earn twice as much at Real Madrid in weekly wages as La Lana will at Liverpool. Uh, by the way, if you enjoy these transfer uh, reactions and transfer news videos, transfer updates, uh, leave a like, it really helps me out and also let me know what do you think about Real Madrid's Galactico uh, policy. Last time when uh, Florentino Perez was the president of Real Madrid, they signed players like Luis Figo for 37 million, Zinedine Zidane for 45 million, Kaká for 56 million pounds, and, and now they have uh, Gareth Bale who cost 86 million, Cristiano Ronaldo who cost 80 million, ha Hamas Rodriguez for 60 million, and also they have uh, Benzema who cost 30 million, Xabi Alonso and Luka, Luka Modric also cost 30 million. So this is the most expensive team ever in football history. And if you consider that since Cristiano Ronaldo is there, in five seasons they only won the league title once. They only won the Champions League once. Yes, they won two Spanish Cups, but they also lost the final to Atletico Madrid. And basically Barcelona and even last season Atletico Madrid pipped Real Madrid. Uh, to the title so it, it clearly shows that buying the best players in the world doesn't result in success I think compared to the amount of money that Real Madrid spent on transfers they haven't been that successful yes the football has been have been great to watch and I really enjoy watching Real Madrid play mainly because they have so many amazing attacking players but uh, but the the team is not working like a team most of the time. Yes, they won the Champions League last season, which was a great result, but they really should have won the league as well. With this squad, with this team, they threw away the league title by, by dropping points against smaller teams. And uh, let me know, guys, what do you think about this Galactico policy? I, I, uh, I really like Real Madrid, I have been liking them since uh, Figo, Zidane uh, played there and Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo played there. Um, they played the, one of, some of the best football that I have ever watched, that's why I started uh, following them, started watching them because of the football. But the transfer policy, I don't agree with that at all because uh, they don't develop young players. Very rarely can you see a Real Madrid youth academy player breaking through to the first team. They just, they just buy the best player who just plays. The uh, James Rodriguez was the best player at the World Cup, so one of the best, and he, they just went and bought him for ridiculous amounts of money. And how can you, how can you integrate so many attacking players? I mean, uh, you have to start uh, Bale, Ronaldo, James Rodriguez, Benzema. And uh, 
And then where, where will Di Maria play? Di Maria was one of the best players for Real Madrid and maybe now they are they will sell him. Di Maria is linked with Man United, linked with Liverpool, linked with Paris Saint-Germain. And also Isco might leave now because he's the same age as uh, James Rodriguez. And Isco is a brilliant player. But it shows like just how ridiculous uh, Real Madrid are uh, with the transfers that now players like Isco... Uh, won't even get into their starting eleven most of the time. So I really hope that Liverpool sign Isco or Di Maria or a player like that. But uh, it's it's actually very, very uh, disappointing to see that uh, instead of uh, giving some of the young players a chance, Ramadi did just buy the best players in the world and just put them together. Yes, it's great to watch, but... Um, but I, I would I would prefer if they if they strike a balance between young players and uh, you know superstars because it showed for many many years that just playing the superstars together doesn't win you many trophies. I mean if you if you take a look at Real Madrid's uh, squads throughout the years they should have won the league uh, many many times and they they usually play finished behind Barcelona. Uh, even Jose Mourinho could only won the league with Real Madrid once, and it shows how ruthless they are. That even when, uh, even when a manager like Fabio Capello or uh, Schuster won the league with Real Madrid, they fired them because they didn't win the Champions League. Jose Mourinho won the league with Real Madrid, and they fired them at the end of next season when he couldn't deliver the Champions League. Real Madrid have this uh, obsession with the Champions League. And rightly so, because they are the most successful club in the Champions League with 10 Champions League trophies. But but I think um, this also hurts Real Madrid that they always change managers every one or two or three seasons. Um, but that's football nowadays. So let me know, guys, what do you think about all this that I talked about in the comments below? I would love to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Goodbye. So we could get back there.